welcome to my class in today's lecture we discuss about modular arithmetic so before going to discuss about modular arithmetic one must know about the basic arithmetic concepts which are required to understand the modular arithmetic first one divisibility division algorithm greatest common divisor is called as a gcd and euclid's algorithm these four basic concepts everyone must know after hearing this lecture what are the outcomes so upon completion of this lecture you will be able to understand about divisibility division algorithm how to find the gcd of two integers and using including algorithm how to find the gcd of two given numbers so first we'll study about divisibility an integer a divides b how you write we'll write it as a divides b this symbol represents the division so if and only if there exists an integer k such that k into k equal to b then we call a divides b for example i say 6 divides 8 6 divides 48 means what there is an integer 8 where 6 into 8 gives us 8 this is the meaning of 6 divides 48 this is what this is a uh, we have written in the form of sentence now this is symbolically i i say 12 divides minus 72 so 12 divides minus 72 means what minus 72 is equal to minus 6 into 12 because already we have a positive 12 so whatever the quotient will get that should be minus because our dividend is minus 72 so minus 72 equal to minus 6 into Right, fifteen not divided seventy-seven. Fifteen not divided seventy-seven means what? There is no such integer where the product of that integer and fifteen gives us seventy-seven. That is the meaning of. So, what do you mean by divisibility? Divisibility is whenever we say a divides b, there exists an integer k where the product of a and k gives us b. This is the meaning of divisibility. Next is the division algorithm. We mean by division algorithm. What it defines? The statement is: given any two integers a and a non-negative integer b, if we divide that b by a, we get an integer quotient q and an integer remainder r that obey the following relationship. Means what? Will be given with the integers a and non-negative integer b. I say b divides divided by a. Whenever a divides b, there will be a quotient and there is a remainder. How will you write the the relationship? Is this b equal to q a plus r, where r lies between zero and a. Suppose if this r is zero, sometimes we will get remainder is zero. Whenever remainder is zero, then we say b equal to q into a or q equal to b by a. This is an example. Let us say, let us take b equal to seven and a equal to then b that is seven equal to three is our a and There exists an integer two, three into two plus one gives us seven. That is what Q. What is here? Two is quotient. One is remainder. I will find the division. Three divides seven. Three two is a six. Seven minus six is one. So this is a quotient. Two is a quotient, and one is remainder. How many we will express B as? B equal to. This is 
B is this is quotient Q. This is A and this is R. B equal Q into A plus R. This is a value. Yes. Next one. Another example. Let B equal to 10 and A equal to 2. Then 10 can be written as 5 into 2 plus 0. Now here, what is 5? 5 is a quotient. R is a reminder. This is the division. 2 divided by 10. 5 is a 10. Reminder is 0. This is how we write P equal to Q A plus R. Next, let B equal to minus 11 and A equal to 7. Then minus 11 can be written as our divisor is 7. Yes, this is 7 plus. But we want minus 11. That's why the quotient will be minus 2. 7 into minus 2 is what? So minus 14 plus 3. So quotient is minus 2. Reminder is this is how the division goes. 7 minus 11. 7 minus 2 is minus 14 plus 3. This is how find quotient and reminder. Next comes greatest common divisor GCD. The GCD of two integers a and b, both of them are not zero, is a unique positive integer t such that b is called GCD of a and b when when d is a common divisor of both a and b means what d must divide both a and d divides both a and b that is d divides a and d divides b and second point every common divisor of both a and b divides d we are calling d as a gcd if another any other divisors exist common divisors for a and b those must divide a and B divides D means if X divides A and X divides B, then X must divide D. Then we can say D as GCD of that is the greatest common divisor so given to integers. How will you write the GCD of two numbers? The GCD of two numbers A and B is written as in the open bracket A B. I will write it is written as GCD of AB. Notation is D equal to GCD of AB. For example, consider two integers 12 and 18. Now, what are the positive divisors of 12? The positive divisors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, the positive divisors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now you have divisors of 12, divisors of 18. Among these set, what are common terms? The common divisors are 1, 2, 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, and 6. These are the common divisors. Again, in a common divisors, we have to choose greatest one. What is the greatest one? Greatest is 6. That's why 6 is the GCD of 12 and 18. So for GCD, for to be GCD, what it should it satisfy? It satisfy two conditions. One is 6 is the common divisor of 12 and 18. Yes, 6 divides both 12 and 18. That is satisfied. Another one is every common division of 12 and 18, that divis divisor of 12 and 18 divides 6. Remaining 12 uh, divisors are 1, 2, 3. So 1 divides 6, 2 divides 6, 3 divides 6, and 6 divides 6. Both the conditions are satisfied. Therefore, we can call 6 as the GCD of 12 and 18. This is how to find GCD. Next comes. Euclid's algorithm method. 
what it says according to this method to find greatest common divisor of two numbers by dividing the larger by the smaller we will begin with a and b which one is larger you have to divide that by a smaller number then next step in the next step whatever remainder you will get using that remainder you have to divide the smaller number for example if a and b are in two numbers b is bigger you have to divide b by a then if you, uh, you will be uh, will get a r as a remainder then you have to divide a the smaller number by r likewise you have to continue the sequence the first remainder by the second remainder and so on until exact division is obtained hence the greatest common divisor is exact divisor until you get a zero remainder whatever the last divisor you will get that is taken as the greatest common divisor we see one example find the gcd of 32 and 54 and express it in the form of 54 x plus 32 y so given numbers a equal to 2 32 and b equal to 54 according to rule bigger number is divided by 32 Sorry, smaller number that is 32. So 54 divided by 32. So 32 ones are 32. What is the remainder? Remainder is 20. How will you express this 20? Remainder R equal to 54 minus one quotient into the divisor 30. We call this as equation one. What is the next step? We have to use the remainder. By remainder, we have to divide this divisor. That is a thirty. In the next step, twenty-two divided by thirty-two gives us twenty-two ones are that is twenty-two. The remainder will be ten. So remainder ten can be written as thirty-two minus one into twenty-two. We call this as equation. Again, next step is what you have to divide. 22 by 10. So 10 divides 22. 10 twos are 20. Remainder is 2. So 2 equal to 22 minus 2 into 10. Call this as equation 3. Next, 2 divides 10. 2 divides 10 by 5 is a is a 10. So it is 0. So the least non zero remainder is what this now. You have got zero as a remainder. So in previous step, in the previous step, we have got here. In the previous step, we have got non-zero remainder as two. So we have to consider this as a non-zero remainder two. That's why this C is taken as the GCD. So non-zero remainder is two. So GCD is now first part is over. We have found GCD. Now, how to express this in the form of 54x plus 32y? We are going to use these equations. Using them, we'll express that GCD, this two, in this form. How? Consider last expression. That is two equal to equation three. Two equal to 22 minus two into 10. Now, 22. In equation one, twenty-two is expressed means fifty-four minus one into thirty-two. Yes, and in equation two, ten is expressed as thirty-two minus one into twenty-two. Now fifty-four as it is minus one into thirty-two. Open the bracket minus two into thirty-two plus two into twenty-two. Fifty-four as it is. Minus one minus two, so it's minus three into thirty-two is two into twenty-two. Again, first two terms keep them as it is. Fifty-four minus three into thirty-two plus two as it is. Again, use equation three. From three, twenty-two is fifty-four minus one into thirty-two. Not it is from equation one. It is from equation one.
you know, 54 minus 3 into 30 plus 2 into in the bracket 54 minus 2 into 32. So, and uh, same terms. So, 54 plus this one 2. So, 3 times 54 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 times 32. We will we can read them as 4 into 3 plus 32 in minus 5 because we need to express it in the form of 54x plus 32y. So this is our x and this is our y now. So 2 is expressed as 54x plus 32y. What are x and y? x is 3 and y is minus This is the procedure to find GCD using Euclid's algorithm. Once you people understand these concepts, next will in the next class we we'll discuss about modular mathematics. In that first concept is congruences. So to understand the congruences, first you must understand all these concepts of divisibility, division algorithm, GCD, and Euclid's algorithm. For further videos, notifications, subscribe my channel, like. If you have any doubts, comment in the comment box so that I will try to solve your doubts. Thank you.